Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Mara Kubik Shrine here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So when you first enter the shrine, we're going to work our way down these stairs and we want to make a bridge. So we're going to use Ultra Hand to grab the piece at the bottom. We can attach it to the piece hanging on the back end and we can make it across. For the second section, we're going to grab this little half card, bring it over here by this bridge. We can drop it right on the edge there and then we can attach the little bridge part to the vehicle and that way we won't flip upside down when we're going across the lava and you'll be able to safely make it across. Now for this section, it's pretty easy. We're just going to make a car. So we'll take this one over here and attach it to the front and we'll have a little vehicle with four wheels so we can hop on this, hit the wheels and safely make it across the lava. You want to make sure that you jump off and stop the wheels before you go too far. As you'll see that there's kind of an opening over there and you don't want to drive right off the ledge. But once you get over here, we can come to the side and use Ultra Hand to get up to the second floor. And once we get in here, it's going to be a little bit tricky. We want to go grab this piece of metal that's in the back and we're going to use this as a staircase to get this chest up here in the corner. So you want to rotate this to look like stairs. You guys can see me struggle a little bit with it. Um, but you don't want to hang it over the top where the chest is because it can be a little difficult to get up there. So let it drop a little bit short that you can easily jump up on the stairs and jump up to the chest. Uh, if you try to attach it all the way at the top, it can be really difficult jumping up on the staircase. Uh, so doing it this way makes it a little bit easier. Once you've done that, we've got one more step. We're gonna take what we just used as stairs and we're gonna use it as essentially a grill for this vehicle. There's gonna be a lot of small metal balls that we wanna push into a hole. So we're gonna attach this to the front of the vehicle so we can kind of scoop all those balls up. So we'll rotate it like this and put it on the front and then when we send this vehicle, you'll see it'll be able to collect all those balls and push them into the hole. Uh, you don't need every single one of them. Don't panic if there's a lot like this to get left behind. You just need a couple of those balls to hit that target and it'll push it down and that'll open the final door to escape the shrine. But that's how to complete the shrine. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.